he was acting up and then he just ran, ran up to his desk, grabbed him, put him in like a chokehold, took his arm, ripped it behind his back like a chicken wing, just up and just threw him into the hallway. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hello and welcome to another installment of this strange thing I do on the internet. Today, the bird is the word. As you can see in front of us, we have a whole rotisserie chicken. Along the sides, we are rocking out with some vegetables. Honestly, I haven't been getting enough lately, and I just love a little palate refresher. So, carrots, celery, cucumbers, cherry tomatoes. A beautiful bird that I'm so ready to dig into. The air fryer got the best of it a little bit, but I don't mind a little extra crisp. So. In the back, we have some dips that are uh, fairly unseen to you as the bird is blocking. You're blocking the shine, buddy. I'm not here for it, but whatever. We will make it work. Frank's Red Hot in the bowl. That sweet baby Ray. What you know about sweet baby Ray? And then the Runny Ranch. And by Runny Ranch, I mean pepperoncini juice infused ranch. Before we do anything more, we must pour. So we've got the breach today. We're coming in with the NW root beer. And we have the Christmas cubes. These are the Christmas cubes from the Christmas ice maker that remind me of calamari. Uncut and unfried. So today, post-fizz, I'd like to make one good, awesome announcement, and then I actually want to talk to you guys about French teachers. Some of you might be like, why? Um, they were an integral part, integral, integral part of my childhood in school. And it just, I kind of got to elaborate on French teachers. If you never had to have one, I don't think you quite understand. Also, one of mine, actually two of them were psychotic. And you couldn't pay me enough to ever be a French teacher. Now, I don't know how many of you, okay, I'll sip it. Now, I don't know how many of you or if it's required to learn another language, I think in the in the, in, in America it's uh, Spanish or you know that type of language, a Latin language. But uh, up in Canuck land, we have to take French. Anyways, food probably the best idea. Okay, we'll get there now. So if we're gonna have a chicken, I think it's fairly evident that that's where we need to go first. And today, I'm going directly for the breast assist. That's where my head's at. That's where my crave's at. I prefer the breasts. I love breasts. Don't we all? Breasts are beautiful. And so is crispy skin on said breasts. So first dip, I'm going with the ranch. Oh man. Yeah. That's something else guys. That is what my life required. Got the Franks here. Amazing. So good. Sweet baby Ray. Two o'clock in the morning bite for you. Ooh. 
Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Just a whole lot of yeah. So first good announcement, ladies and gents. The knives, the win, confirmed. Sam the cooking guy, two nights ago, hit me up on a FaceTime. Which was actually pretty hilarious. Because I didn't expect it to be coming in. I didn't know when it was coming in. And so I was laying in bed. Just looking disheveled. Incoming call, ring, ring, ring. From San Diego, California. And I keep my room very dark, usually. I'm all about setting the mood, you know? Real talk, I just like to be very, my, uh, my room state to be very chill, very zen. Y'all know we gotta have a wing. So he, uh, he's calling, I see it, I'm like, oh shit, it's him. But I'm like, I'm like I gotta get the call, but I look ridiculous, it's dark in here, They're like, what light do I go to? And so I pick up the call, like scrambling over here to this setup to, to turn on my ring light. Or this light, it has many settings, but I keep it on this bright ass third rock from the sun guy. That guy, like that squinty guy. That's basically what this makes me like. <clears throat> and uh, at first, I just hear, I hear, he just goes, hoodie. <laughs> I'm like, yo, 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 what's up? He's like, why is it dark? <laughs> right as he says, he's like, why is it dark? I like flip on this on FaceTime, I'm just looking like shit. And I'm just like, <laughs> hey man. Literally looking like a psychopath. Basement dwelling. Serial killer. And he's like, oh, hey, okay, it is you. You're, you are the real guy. And I'm like, yeah, dude, like, da, da, da. So we just had a brief conversation about everything, and, uh, He's a really cool guy, very, very chill, very natural on the phone, probably more natural than I was, to be honest. Ooh, that thigh, though.
Man, you guys gotta love a rotisserie chicken. Just that fall apart tenderness. So magical. Certainly Narnia status. So, eventually the knives will be coming. Him and I still have to work out shipping details because they're coming right from the manufacturer and he has to figure out where they can ship from. If they can ship direct to my door or if they can only go to the United States. And then I'll have to go pick them up. which is actually no big deal. Because I live on the border of Minnesota. Oh yeah, don't you know. Oh yeah. Che lots of cheese curds. That's more Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Shout out cheese curds though, for real. Okay, maybe a little palate cleanser. Mm hmm. I'm so relaxed. My skin is getting better by the moment. Cherry tomatoes. I love them. I love the flavor explosion. I like the juice inside. It's so, so good. But I know cherry tomatoes are a very love-hate thing. Lots of people get freaked out by the uh, nature of the texture. The whole juice popping aspect. Is off-putting to some. Okay. Let's chat about French teachers. <clears throat> and a few little stories relating to the ones that I had and why, how you couldn't pay me enough to be a French teacher. Up here in the Great White North, it is a requirement to take French class, I think starting grade two or so, all the way up to grade nine mandatory you don't have an option i always wished i had an option because i hated it i was
certainly not interested in speaking French. Because there is really no point unless you're going to live in Montreal. And, uh, straight up, I just, I was too, too young to comprehend any of that. I was not smart enough to figure that shit out. I was more worried about learning how to use my yak back. Shout out yak backs. So growing up, me and my friends, and most most every every grade, all kids, most kids didn't care about French. And pretty much everybody treated French as a free period to be an obnoxious little asshole. Really not pay attention, constantly talk. And not absorb any information whatsoever. And the French teachers it was I think one or two of them had to teach every grade. So literally every time a new chunk of kids would come in, older or younger, the French teachers would be subjected to the same amount of disrespect and non-care I was a class before. <clears throat> and by experience, I had three different French teachers one I didn't get, but she also ended up crying, having a mental breakdown, and like quitting her job as well. But uh, the two female French teachers our school had, both had that happen, where they literally mid-lesson began sobbing <laughs> and quit their job. Crazy. <clears throat> now... One of them did have a mustache, and she was a woman, so she, she wasn't really helping herself out in that category. It's weird too, because she wasn't really even bad looking. She just seemed unaware of her mustache. Very strange. Then I had two dude French teachers, and the last one is where shit gets real interesting because he's a bona fide psychopath. This other one we had named Mr. Hurtabees, and he just, he literally looked like Mr. Dressup. He was not at all intimidating, however, he was aggro. Like, he didn't take no shit. Like, he would not put up with bullshit. And I don't know if you guys recall, like, those paper cutters that teachers would go. They'd take, like, Bristol board, and they'd cut it to size. This big, almost, like, guillotine-style chopping device to cut large paper. This dude... mid-lesson slice his thumb off the teacher hurt to bees hurt to bees him in this moment 
And uh, he literally was so dedicated to the craft that he put his thumb on ice, wrapped it up, his wound, and continued the rest of the day. Wow. And the last French teacher I had, who my mom was responsible for getting fired, actually, and rightfully so, his name was Mr. Stamp. And this dude legitimately looked like Steve Stone Cold Steve Austin. Could swear it was his brother. And this dude was an anomaly <clears throat> in that he would literally like Stone Cold Stunner kids. If you were acting up, dude was physical. It was crazy. And he was like, top of his lungs, screaming, yelling to the point where he's like spitting out of his mouth at you. And one day, he almost broke my buddy's arm. He like, he was acting up and then he just ran, ran up to his desk, grabbed him, put him in like a chokehold, took his arm, ripped it behind his back like a chicken wing, just up and just threw him into the hallway and was like, stay out there till, till class is over. He also multiple times flipped kids' desks and <clears throat> one other time and which was like the final straw of his like reign of terror was I think we were going on like a field trip or something and there were a couple parents around my mom being one of them <clears throat> in the classroom and the principal our principal came in And was talking about the field trip and the rules and, you know, not getting out of line and things like that. And this dude, Stone Cold Steve Austin, mother effer, he goes, oh no, not to worry. Goes to his desk, undoes a drawer, pulls out a piece of a 2 by 4 this long, starts patting it on his hand going if any of these kids get out of line this will handle it not even the yardstick a 2 by 4 after my mom saw that she wrote like some crazy formal letter and got like a parental petition going to like the school board and dude got canned. In retrospect, we all shouldn't have been such little assholes to the French teachers. I do agree, but what do you expect when you're trying to teach an eight year old or 10 year old another language that like doesn't even hardly get used where they live. This makes no sense. I don't even know if it's still a part of the curriculum. curriculum. Maybe, I'm not sure, but that is precisely why you could never pay me enough. I could never deal with a room full of asshole kids every single period I would also lose my shit
I don't know that I'd resort to a 2x4. But I would certainly be handing in my resignation real quick. Alright. I'm at the point. I hit the wall. I really want to finish that last wing, but... Just to see I did it. Look, Mama, I made it. Mama, I made it. Swing was nice and chewy, like I like it. I like, I like it. Weak attempt on the veggies, though. Hard to hit the veggies when you got this in front of you, though. It just seems so much more important to my mouth. Mmm. 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 Love a good rotisserie chicken. <clears throat> so yeah, just my little tale about French teachers. I don't know why. I just thought of that today, and it was just like a memory that I, I felt like would be a little bit intriguing to, to some of you because I'm sure. Growing up, you experience similar things with either like your Spanish teacher or, you know, just coming through school, like having teach some teachers do some extreme shit or just like freak out and lose it. Like, who's coming with me, man? Who's coming with me? I'm not going to do whatever he thinks I'm going to do. Flip out, man. All I want to know is who's coming with me. All right, full as the moon on a howling night. I don't know what that means, but I think you can understand it. Till the next one, you know what to do. Be good, live well, and stay true.